Hello YouTubers, this is Paul is the best for UK and welcome to episode 3 of the Sinclair Spectrum Shorts. This is a very special episode as we are looking at the Sinclair Spectrum 128K. This is probably the holy grail of ZX Spectrums. Now equipped with 128 kilobytes of random access memory, this model has a very similar look to the 48 Plus. The keyboard is pretty much identical. You will notice there is a big external heatsink on the right of the machine. This is for heat protecting the voltage regulator inside which gets hot during operation. This computer was dubbed as a toast rack because of this design. Car name Derby by Sinclair Research, the computer now contains an AY multi-channel sound chip. The ROM now contains a new menu, 128 versions and 48 versions of BASIC, a calculator, there was also backwards compatibility with 48k machines and it had something called the type tester. Because the Spectrum did not have a type recorder built in, the type tester was useful to find correct volume treble and even head alignment visually on screen. Just like previous models, you can connect an external audio cassette recorder via the ear and microphone ports. The computer still runs a Z80 chip around 3.5 MHz. It now has 32 kilobytes of ROM, 128 kilobytes of RAM, which is spread over 8 16K RAM chips. The sound is provided by Yamaha AY38912. You can now plug in an external keypad, which is useful for office-like situations. RGB output is provided, a MIDI port, RF modulator for UHF-based TV. Back when it came out, it was around 180 pound. Have a look at some of the games. Dizzy Games, since Treasure Island Dizzy, not the original, now have full AY sound support, providing a soundtrack for a nicer experience. Treasure Island Dizzy was a very notoriously hard game because of the inventory system. If you, for example, was underwater and your, your snorkel was at the top, if you accidentally press the fire button, you drop the snorkel and drown and you only get one life on this version. A game made by the Oliver Twins, and it is a brilliant game. They all are dizzy games are brilliant. So, there you go. Terramax was a brilliant game by Argus Software and Grand Slam, I believe. You could have flying vacuum cleaners to ride on, like this one right here. Watch out for this uh, this snake thing in there and jump over and look, I'm on a flying vacuum cleaner. It was very innovative because you could use you could swap items to and use items to get through the various parts of the game, and it even had a think system. So that's the think system. If you press the T on the keyboard, you can think, and it tells you, it gives you a clue of what object you need for that particular part of the game. Terramex in 128k mode let you uh, change the characters every time you got game over and started again, and it also add music all the way through. Ghouls and Ghosts was based on the arcade machine which, which was impressive on 128 providing a map, on screen and AY sound effects. It's such a shame it didn't have music in game but it was still a, a pretty brilliant game and a brilliant conversion of a, a top notch coin up machine. Pretty difficult as well. Join me again in episode 4 of the Sinclair Spectrum Shorts and thank you for watching.